All right, guys, another hot sauce review. Just got done with the um, uh, the bomb, Ground Zero, so I feel like Superman now. And I'm going to be trying another hot sauce. This is the Marie Sharps, or Mary Sharps, depending on how you want to say it. Uh, grapefruit Pulp Habanero Pepper Sauce. So, this is a product of Belize, which I've only seen on the Travel Channel. Anyway, um, all right, so what are our ingredients here? We have yellow habanero peppers, grapefruit pulp, onions, key lime juice, vinegar, garlic, and salt. So, interesting. We got the nice uh, strong yellow color on this, as opposed to the red we're so used to seeing in hot sauce. And let me get my trusty, this is definitely my hot sauce knife, Spider Crow Cricket. That I, like I said, that little recurve tips perfect for this, uh, this job of peeling down the seal. So, anyway. Okay. Put the cap back on for a second. Shake them up really good. You want to shake up all your hot sauce. doesn't matter what kind it is because the oils and stuff will separate after sitting. And you don't want that. So, by the way, that ground zero, that um, the bomb ground zero was uh, just, wow over the top. Uh, it's been about an hour and a half, uh, an hour and 25 minutes since I made that video. And uh, I'm not completely over it yet. My tongue is still just a little bit, you know, fried. Ooh. This one has a great smell. Let me uh, shake up a little bit more. There we go. I smell the yellow habaneros in there. I definitely smell the onion. But yeah, you get a little bit of the grapefruit. It's not like a strong grapefruit smell. I'm, I'm picking up more of the onion and the citrus juice. But anyway, let's give it a try here on our spoon. One two, let's go for three, why not? Like I said, I feel like Superman now. Alright, so there it is. Marie Sharp's Grapefruit. Hold on. <laughs> Marie Sharp's Grapefruit Pulp Habanero. Okay, down the hatch. Here we go. Definitely, definitely pick up on that grapefruit. And the onion. And it seems really strange. If you picture a grapefruit and an onion, you really wouldn't want to mix them together. But the flavor is very good. It's very good. Let's try a little more here. Three, four, five drops. So I to make sure I can really pick up on the flavor and everything here. Definitely pick up not only the grapefruit, but the lime juice. It's very much citrusy. The lime, the grapefruit, the lemon, not so much, but I did say there's lemon in there, right? Let's see. Uh, where'd it go? No, there is no lemon. That's why I don't taste it. That would make sense, right? The key lime juice, yeah, key lime uh, is very different than um, Persian limes. Most of us in America haven't had key limes. We, I mean, we've had key lime pie, but they're not really made with key limes. There's a big difference in flavor. They're much more pungent, and there's just really a slight difference in flavor. Um, it's very good. I'm actually going to do a little bit more. Uh, heat level, <coughs> heat level was fine until I just... <coughs> <coughs> inhaled. Um, let me do it one more time and give you heat on this one. Right away, you get an explosion of citrus. It's very good. I would actually say, after trying it over and over again, that the key lime juice almost overpowers. It's it's just it's it's equal, if not more, flavorful than the um, the grapefruit itself. 
very interesting, very unique. I would definitely use this on um, uh, some Mexican food, like some tacos and stuff. It really brings that kind of fruity, citrusy um, kind of bang to the whole thing. It's very good. I, I really like it. I think this would be a great food additive. Heat's not that bad, even though it has the habanero in it. And trust me, it's not just because I had the, the bomb ground zero before. Um, the heat, it affects my taste buds, but it's not going to affect my, um, um, you know, the heat level at all. But I can still actually taste after that, believe it or not. I didn't kill all my taste, my taste buds. This is actually very pleasurable. It has a very good flavor. Um, Heat-wise, I would put it probably on par with Tabasco sauce. Uh, it's got some spice. Uh, I would say just maybe a little bit more than Tabasco sauce, to be honest. Uh, it is spicier than that. It, it's it's hot, but I mean anything with habaneros in it is going to be going to have a decent kick. But it's not overpowering. I think it's very flavorful. It's very very enjoyable. Um, what are those things that Taco Bell came out with? They're the uh, I forget the names of all the Taco Bell crap, but it's basically it's like a soft shell soft shell taco, but it has the lime, the fresh lime that you squeeze in there. It reminds me of that, just that citrusy mix to Mexican food. Um, awesome. Very, very good. Highly recommended if you do like citrus-type hot sauces. In fact, this is probably one of the only real strong citrus hot sauce I've had, and I think it's great. So there you go. Marie Sharps. I know they also make an orange. <clears throat> um, I might eventually try the orange because this is actually it's very delicious. So I would imagine the orange one would be the same, but only with an orange flavor as opposed to this whole grapefruit lime juice deal. But yeah, definite difference between key limes and Persian limes, which we're so used to in America. Um, if you want real key lime pie, key lime, all this hot sauce is making me mental. Yeah, key lime. I don't know why that sounded funny to me. Anyway, if you want a real key lime pie, go down to uh, Key West, Florida. That's where you're going to find it. But I am. I'm going delusional with all this hot hot sauce crap. But this one is very good. Highly recommended. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. As always, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.